OBS just released a new version, which is the OBS Studio 27.1. One of the best features it has as of now is the ability to connect your YouTube account so that you can control or live stream within OBS without having to go to YouTube and get your stream key and paste it. So basically, you're going to be able to connect your YouTube account with the OBS and be able to do all the settings for your live stream, you know, including title, description private settings, scheduling streams, and more. However, there is a more exciting feature, which is the ability to have your live chat within OBS. So basically, you're going to have a separate dock for public and unlisted broadcast within OBS. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to download this new version as of now it's still in beta so it's not gonna be on the official obs page uh, for download and at the same time i'm gonna show you how to get the youtube controls for live streaming as well as the live chat doc so let's not take much time let's get right into it let's head to google and type in obs 27.1 so um, I'm going to need you to go to the geekhub.com OBS project. So this one, okay. Again, I'm going to put a link down below for you guys so you don't have to pass uh, through all these steps, okay. Once you get here, you can see the OBS Studio 27.1 release candidate one, okay. As you can see, it shows you all the features, all the new features, including the YouTube integration, as well as some bug fixes. Then you're going to click here to OBS Studio 27.1 and scroll down to the bottom of the page. As you can see, these are the links for you to uh, download. So if you're running on Mac, this is what you're going to download. Uh, for me, I'm running on PC. So let's go ahead and click to this one and download it. So basically follow all the instructions on the screen on how to install it. You should be fine. Okay. And once you have it installed, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and open OBS. So what you need to do is you're going to go here to settings. And as you can see, if we go to stream now, the whole user interface has changed a little bit on service. You want to make sure you have YouTube RTMPS selected. You should see an option that says connect account recommended or use the stream key uh, advanced. OK, so this second option, this is the, you know, the usual option. If you want to go to YouTube and copy the key and come back, paste it in here but you don't have to do that because uh, with the new uh, version you can actually easily uh, connect directly to your youtube account so basically we're gonna go ahead and connect to my youtube account you want to go to your google uh, email or your google account that is connected to your youtube page so in my case this is gonna be mine okay and make sure you connect to your youtube page Okay, and it's going to ask you to allow OBS Studio to connect. So click allow. Once you're done, you should see this message saying authorization completed successfully. You can now close this page. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close the page and go back to OBS. As you can see, my page uh, live production tips and tools is connected right now and hit apply and okay so as soon as you hit apply as you can see i got this um doc okay uh, appear here so this is where you're going to be able to control um actually you're not going to be able to control you're going to be able to see all the chat or the comments coming in so we're going to have to go ahead and set up a live stream and actually see how this works in real time okay so basically i'm gonna take this dock and lock it somewhere here and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to view docs and um lock ui to start streaming you don't have to do much all you have to do is click here start streaming okay as you can see you have a new tab that opens which is more exciting and you have two options the first option is to create a new event okay so this is where you can create a new uh, live stream let's say um, test live stream 
and you can add your description hello i am testing this new feature okay and you can choose if you want it to go public unlisted or private so for us it's gonna be unlisted if you are into gaming so you're gonna choose gaming under category here or if you are into music so depending on what you're trying to live stream okay for me it's how to style or education and in this video is this video made for kids no it's not you know you have all these options to go through the latency all that kind of stuff now once you're done here you can click go live okay now it's gonna go live now we are live okay so as you can see i'm live on youtube no problem okay for this option the only thing that i don't like about it is the fact that you don't have an option to create a thumbnail however you can always go to your youtube studio and uh, customize everything here okay but that's once you're live which is weird because you know usually you need to kind of set up everything uh, add your thumbnail add it to a playlist so as you can see you have really limited options okay i'm gonna go ahead and end actually end stop streaming okay let's stop streaming yes okay and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and go to my youtube page and go to create and go live okay so i'm gonna create my own live stream from youtube okay so as i keep scrolling down you can see that i have an option to add my thumbnail to add this live stream on a playlist so like the usual way we usually we actually do it okay and then you know once you're done you just click save i can go back to obs and once i click start streaming because my account is still connected instead of creating everything from scratch or creating a new event uh, i actually found out that it's better to use this option which is select an existing event so you can create an event in youtube live and everything leave it there and then come back to obs and select an existing event because it's already set everything set for you back in youtube all you have to do you're gonna have all your events listed here and then you're gonna click or you're gonna choose uh, this event so basically you have an option to go to youtube studio or to go live with this selected event so we're gonna go ahead and click this okay and as you can see uh um, i should be live now okay so if you go ahead we go back to youtube and as you can see i'm live now okay now let's go ahead and go back to obs and as you can see my chat doc is empty because it's nobody's chatting okay but if i go back to my chat right now i'm actually gonna go to youtube as if i was you know watching myself and i'm gonna paste it here and see this is me live on youtube okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say hello i am testing this feature okay so this is my chat let's go back to obs boom so as you can see my uh, chat is there okay there's a little bit of a uh, small delay let's let's do another message and see hello this is another test boom go back to obs let's see how long it takes actually to refresh boom so as you can see it's there uh, again this is read only so there's no you cannot uh you know respond to your chats through obs so if you need to kind of interact with your people you're gonna have to you know you still have to kind of go to youtube or youtube studio okay which is fine you know but for now uh with obs at least you're gonna be able to see all the chats coming in which is a cool feature so i think this is kind of cool okay but at the same time you have an option to schedule to connect your account so as you can see if i go here to stream my youtube account is still connected to obs so anytime i want to go live on youtube i just have to you know either i create an event and i leave it there 
and i just go there change my thumbnails and everything and whenever i'm ready i just come to obs and click start streaming you know without having to copy and paste the key from youtube live so one more thing that i wish they did actually i hope they're gonna do it in the future is to actually be able to uh, of course obviously respond to the comments that's one but two i wish we you know we had an option to kind of display each comment on screen but if you need to be able to actually uh overlay your comments on your live stream within youtube i'm gonna show you a very very easy way to actually do it so make sure you watch this video right here and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you there